Now we're installing the y-axis end stop here. And by end stop, it means that this detects whenever the bed reaches the end of the line when it homes position. And it detects this by hitting that switch. And whenever the switch is depressed, the printer knows that it's reached the home position. So let's look at what parts it takes to install it. You need the smaller of your two end stops, and you need two of the M2 10 millimeter screws. So we're installing the smallest of the two end stops. Mine does have a bend on top here. Yours may or may not. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. It's just a different revision of the kit. Mine does not have the actual plug labeled, so I put a little piece of painter's tape here, and I'm going to put a letter Y on this. This is our Y end stop. You can write directly on the switch itself if you want to. I just like to do the painter's tape. That way I can film several takes of this shot if I need to. So the end stop is going to land right here, pointing away from this bearing and clamp. You need to feed the wire through this opening. So I usually start feet first, get those in there, sort of lay it down so the feet are in the opening, stand it upright, and then push it through. Push that wire the whole way through. And then your end stop will line up with the two screw holes. Take your M2 10 millimeter screws, you're going to have to wiggle it around a bit to find the opening. And then finish tightening them up with the Allen wrench. You just need the screws to be nice and snug. And now you've installed the Y-axis end stop.